Hello, just here to do a little image manipulation tutorial for you. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new file. So I'm going to go to File at the top and New. And I'm just going to press OK and that will give us a blank canvas. Then from here you can copy your map onto your blank canvas. Now if you've got a full screenshot you'll have bits of your screen that you want to crop off. So you go to the Crop tool on the left here. Can you see this toolbar? This is your Crop tool. So I'm going to click on that. It puts a selection box around your image and then from here you can bring the corners in or do whichever you want to change the shape or the size of your image at this stage. So I'm going to press enter. To get rid of this box around the edge you just need to click back on a move tool up here and then that will take that box away and you can move on to the next thing you're going to do. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our image size to make sure it's the right size. So we go image size and it will come up with a box here. You have to do this for every single image you open in Photoshop. It's really important. And it's only the document size that we're going to look at. If you don't change these, you end up with a really poor quality image. My image size is actually quite good. You want it to be around 25, so I don't need to change that at the moment. Um, some of the photos you take, though, might come out quite big and you need to reduce them in size so that they don't print out in a ridiculously large size. But what I do need to change here is the resolution. So I'm going to change that to 300, which is a much better quality resolution. You'll notice that these other boxes change automatically. You only need to change this section down here to make this change and for example if I was going to change the size of the image to 25 the other box will automatically change so that's fine you don't need to mess around with it otherwise. So I'll press OK here and we're ready to go just need to shrink my image down so you can fit it all on one page. Now down here in the corner can you see there's a percentage you can change the percentage size of your image Sometimes you might want to work in detail in a corner, so you might want your image really big on the screen, otherwise you might want it around this percentage. It's up to you and what you're doing at the time. Now I'm going to show you how to, to manipulate your image now. Now the first thing I like to do before I do anything with images is I change my brightness and contrast to get the image in a really good condition. So this is what we're going to be doing. You go up to your toolbar at the top and you press Image. Then you go down to Adjustments. This is where your manipulation tools are in here and you can play around with things. Now the first one is brightness and contrast, I'm going to pick that. I'm just going to make the brightness a little bit brighter look, perks it up a bit. And if I change the contrast, the contrast is the difference between the light and dark areas of your image. And it means that you'll get lots more detail showing. So we're going to change that a bit as well. It's good to take a screenshot as you go and you can put your screenshots straight into your virtual sketchbook. You get marks for taking screenshots because it's how you show that the examiner that you've experimented with your images. Just going to press OK. We're good to go. Now, if I go back up here, on here are all the things that you can do to change to your image. So I could change it, and if I just wanted to be black and white, for example, I could change it to black and white. Can you see that image behind? It's actually quite nice, quite moody. So if you wanted to keep it as that, you could. Either way, take a screenshot of what you've changed, stick it in your virtual sketchbook. I'm going to cancel this because I'm going to show you some other things, but you could save your image like this and print it off. I'm going to go back to my original image. I'm going to show you a few other things you can do. So one good thing is you can change your hue and saturation. Now there are two options on here. You've got colour balance and you've got hue and saturation. Colour balance will just change the colour levels. So for example, it could make add more reds. And I know that doesn't seem like your pitch is going more red, but it's adding red on top of the other colours, which is getting that reaction. That's actually quite a nice outcome. I like that. So I would take a screenshot of that show the examiner what I've done. So you can change the colours separately by tweaking them. It's quite interesting. So you get some interesting effects there. Like this. And you could save these as you go each time, getting a different outcome. The more outcomes you get, the better. Take screenshots, put them in your sketchbook. I'm just going to leave that at that. Or the other option is you can change the hue and saturation. Now that will change all of the colours at the same time. So I've got this sliding scale here, so I can change it to be whatever I want. So anything that I'm happy with on there, I can I can change it and leave it. So I quite like the oranges. You can also change the saturation. That's how much colour impact there is. So I can make it really bright. That's a bit crazy. Or I could make it less bright. The colours, the intensity of the colours. I'm going to stick it around there. Quite like that. I'm going to press OK on this one and leave it as that because I quite like this image. Um, from here, if I want to, I could um, go down and change some more things. I can invert it, so that would make it the opposite. There you go. 
So I could change that if I want to. If I don't want to, I can change it back, but I would make sure I take a screenshot. I'm going to go edit, undo. It's very good. So if you do something you don't like, you can go to edit and undo, and it will take you back to the previous stage. So image adjustments. I'm going to try this time, posterize. This one's very interesting because it will make it more pixelated like this. So you can have sort of like a more... I always think of this as a bit of a Minecraft effect with all the pixels, so you could change that. I mean, that's the full extreme using that, but you can slide it up and down. Sometimes this gives you a bit more texture in places, and in photography we call that noise. So it's added a bit of noise to my picture. I'm going to leave it there. Um, another thing you can try, this is quite a good tool, you can go to Gradient Map, and in this selection bar here, there's loads of different effects you can try. So you can click on all the different ones, and it will give you lots of different effects. Oops, there we go. It's the Chrome version, it's quite interesting. I would maybe use this before I pixelate it, because um, sometimes it can be a bit too busy. But it's up to you, you just need to take screenshots as you go along. So that's a way of using that. You can use and play around with any of the different the different adjustment tools in here and see what they do. Just take a screenshot each time. When you're happy with something, save it and print it off and then start a new one. So I'm going to leave this at here as it is. I'm going to save it. Now when you save your image, you go to File and you go to Save As. Now you should already have made a folder that you've been putting your screenshots into. So I want you to save your image to your folder already. You need to make sure up here, look, that you change the name, so I'm going to call this Map 1. Um, you don't want it on the desktop, you want to save it to your documents and find that folder that you've been using and then here you save it to be a JPEG. So I'm saving it to be a JPEG, save. And that's how you do the first step of the image manipulation. Thank you very much.